Hi, I'm Tamara, and I'm here with my dad. Hello, my name is Sukomi Adekeye, and I'm here with my first daughter. What's the worst thing you've heard somebody say about me? The worst thing I've heard somebody say about you is that you need to be more focused, and that is despite the training that your mom and I give you on a daily basis. So it came as a surprise that people say to you that you have to be more focused. What do we have in common that you like the most? We look alike and we're both like stubborn. Mm, I'm not stubborn. No, in a way, kind of. We're both like very, very stubborn in a way. We're like determined, if that makes sense. If I told you I needed to bury a body, what would you do? You needed to do what? Bury a body. <laughs> In the first instance, what led you to killing somebody to the point that you want to bury? Or you're, you're on your own, no? Tell me about something you wish you had tried earlier, anything at all. Something I wish I had tried earlier is to have studied for CFA exams, um, Chartered Financial Analyst. I wish I could have become a CFA, a Chartered Order. If someone offered you one million dollars to not speak to me again, would you do it? No, I would not do it. One million dollars is a lot of money. Yeah, but then like, I wouldn't do it. Well, it says, to not speak to me, we can communicate via Yeah, I can writing. always send you a mail. Yeah, so you yeah. will take the one million. I mean, yeah. Like you said, it's a lot of money, so... So in other words, you will take the one million dollars as against speaking to your dad? I will speak with you. <laughs> I will forfeit the money and speak with you. When is my birthday? August 10th. No. August 30th. Yeah. Is there anything I could have done differently raising you? Yeah, I feel we could have spent more time together. Like in the evenings, watch TV together. On Saturdays, we should just like spend time together. Not just me, we, like everyone in general. Just spending time together as a family. What did you think I was capable of becoming as a child? Have I lived up to that expectation? I thought you were going to become a lawyer until you came to me to say that you want to study mass communication. But then we are told these days that you don't, um, you don't force your idea on your children, so you allow them to be what they want to be. Have you ever stolen from me? If yes, what was the first thing you stole? It was your book. You had all these jotters from work that were really nice because I liked it and I still have it. But that was the first thing I think I've ever stolen from you. Is there anything you thought you would be doing at your age that you're not doing? Nope, nope. I got into the insurance industry quite early. To the glory of God, I, I finished school on time. I got work on time. I've been in the insurance industry for close to 30 years now, 28 years to be precise and I've risen to the peak of my career. Yeah, I'm, I'm living the life that I want, yeah. Are you proud of me and why? Yes, I am extremely proud of you. You've accomplished a lot of things in your career. You're a great father and everything you've done, the house, mom, and my sisters, school, you've always been there. So yes, I'm proud of you even though we're like, bye. Interesting, I'm hearing these things for the first time. Name three things you like about me and one thing you will change. I like the way you talk. I like the way you carry yourself. And I like how you're there for people when they need you. One thing I will change, you should like communicate better, like words, soft tones. This sounds like a pleasure period at work. Can you remember our biggest fight? Uh, biggest fight? When, you, when I told you to choose law and you came back having submitted your form to tell me that you choose mass communication and I asked you which school, you said Babcock and I said, well, I told you you should choose Covenant University, but you said you wanted to go to Babcock and I said, you go pay for the school fees by yourself or you tell your mom to pay for it. And then for, for three days you wouldn't eat and I told your mom you are fasting. 
What is something you want to tell me that you don't say enough? I love you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When I get old, will you let me live with you? It depends on the circumstance. I don't even want to live with you. <laughs> I don't want to live with you. Will you lend me your life's savings? I don't have a lot, so yeah, I can. Especially once you know that you will get double. Who is your favorite child? I don't have a favorite child. In terms of favoritism, I can't really say that this is my favorite child. But when I want to get something, depending on what I want to get, I know who to go to among the three of you. What was the first thing you thought when you first saw me? To start with, I was allowed into the labor room and I witnessed your birth. And the first thing that came was your head with the grown ear. And I said, wow, is this how babies look when they come out of their parents' womb? So the first thing I thought when I saw you was the radiance that surrounded you and the beauty that, um, that came with it. And then your mom was smiling because that was her first time as well when she saw you. So, yep. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.